Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do it. So that opening was supposed to be like, um, no, I didn't go in the morning from the previous video. Uh, I wanted to go, woke up at 5.30, fell, fell asleep around like 12.30, woke up at 1.30 and it was like, or 5.30, sorry. I was like, give myself half an hour, went to bed, woke up at 6. And I uh, failed to do that. Talking to my buddy Joe, he said he brought up a good point. He said, why don't you ever record biceps and triceps? And I said, because it's too hard. Sexual joke? I don't know, but yeah. One of my classes right now um, is divided up into two groups. So I have to go in there just to turn in the homework and come back. Don't even have to stay because I was in the first group last week. So this week all I have to do is turn in the homework. So I'm going to wake up early. Is that simple? What up, guys? So I just finished a uh, back and buy session and um, some cardio afterwards. It's about 20 minutes of stairs at a high intensity. Started off low and I was like, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. And uh, last five minutes, we're. Ooh, Let's go upstairs. I want to sit upstairs. Last five minutes were the worst fucking times in my life. Bumped up the intensity. Put this way, in about 20 minutes, I burned around 450 calories. And, uh, you know, I was watching uh, CG Fitness, Christian Guzman. Uh, his new video, you guys should go check it out. Um, but uh, that was that was actually 20 minutes, just about. So I was like, okay, cool. I have to go rewatch it because it lasts like two, three minutes. No idea what's going on. Absolutely nothing. So went to Dunkin' Donuts. Sorry, I look like Goofy. Look at my fucking. <laughs> Anyways, um, went to Dunkin' Donuts, and I was like, okay, I've got to fill up my fat. Food. Like, you know, I plan ahead. So I'll put like shit with him for dinner right away. If I know what I'm gonna have, if not, then I'll wing it. But uh, so I was like, okay, I still got, you know, 20 grams, 20, actually I had like 30 grams of fat left to work with. Ah, like 20. And so I was like, okay, what's something that can get me close? Cause I don't like being like exactly on the fat end of my, I like going under. <clears throat> and I was like, all right, Dunkin' Donuts is right here. Egg white, turkey, sausage, um, flatbread or whatever. I was like, that's not bad, you know, eight grams of fat or whatever. So I was like, yeah, can I have that? He's like, no problem. Put, uh, let's see, what do you do? Put regular sausage. Oh, and I also found out he put a bacon in there. Um, and an egg. And I've never, I've never fucking, I've never had it. So I was eating it, and I was like, what the? I was like, why is it? I was like, what the hell is this? Why is there? And I'm almost done. I was like, literally a bite away. I was like, why is there bacon in here? So I went back and I was like, yeah, uh, is this like the turkey sausage? <laughs> I was like, because I didn't order bacon. Like, he's like, oh, it's like my bad, dude. I was like, what? Well, I didn't order this. He's like, oh, yeah, I know. I was like, okay, whatever, fuck it. So I ate it. Turns out it was like 30 grams of fat. Really kind of pissed me off about that. Ah, uh, you know, really, really, really really got me going 
um, in my head. You know, I'm not, I'm not mean. I can't be like, like fuck you. You know, I sound like a douchebag. Ah, oh, the bus is coming. Cool. Um, no. So, yeah, there's a point to this, but I'll figure oh, okay. it out. Was a point to that um, ramble outside the last clip. Um, learn to pick your battles. Just, like, if every little thing bugs you, then you're not going to get very far in life. I don't know if any of you guys saw my Instagram picture. I'm gonna, I don't know how to do the thing where I'm, like, right here and it's there. I'm not that skilled, but um, it's you're going to have rough days in life. It's just, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come. It's just, regardless of what happens, it's, it's like, it's on those days, though, that where you really start getting fired up. You know, you can either let it fuck you up and sit down or you can get up you can you know be like fuck it I don't care if there's any problems I'm still gonna do what I got to do all right anyways um, as of the what I said before I was going to put up a little macro advice for cutting in college if you're in a dorm. Not if you're living in your apartment because you can just buy and cook your own food, but if you're in a dorm and you're stuck with a meal plan, such as moi, and can't opt out, then you know, you should probably, you know, take advantage of it and not just, you know, money's tight, so. Number one, which is an obvious one, stay consistent or, you know, find a routine with food. Like, for example, you know, um, you can, if, uh, for UIC, they have a dining thing online where they give you the nutrient facts and they also do it, you know, in front of the food. Um, but for breakfast on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, I know they have French toast sticks and that's, that's, that'll be my breakfast on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And on Tuesday and Thursdays, I know they have country ham, so that'll be my breakfast on Tuesday and Thursdays. Um, for lunch, they have grilled chicken along with dinner, and I will have two sandwiches at lunch and two sandwiches at dinner. Every single day, same food. I never really like change, except for recently I discovered like a little Popeyes thing, so I've been having the grilled chicken for lunch and Popeyes for dinner, but that'll change too, and I'll go back to the old routine because I can already like see myself getting sick of it. But number two, save your fats for the end of the day, not like, don't have a single gram of fat throughout the day. I'm talking like, just don't have like, if your goal is to get like 50 or 60 grams of fat, like, such as me, don't like have 50 before like noon, or don't have 50 before three o'clock or before dinner. You know, don't, cause then at the very end of the day, you're gonna be like, oh shit, like, what can I eat that won't push, put me past like that 50 or 60 limit? Like, you know, really be conservative about everything. Really plan ahead. Which leads me to my next step. Plan ahead. You know, this kind of goes off with the with the first rule, like make a routine. But plan your plan ahead. If you know that you know the dining hall is gonna have this, find the macros in the morning and then put that there. So you'll be like, so you know, you know, if I have all this, what am I gonna have like room for? That way you can like divert yourself into with skittles such as moi, because that fits for me. It'll work, and then I don't get like, you know. I need sweets. So. Right, number four and last one, unless I can think of more, is after you finish your workout, slow down with the carbs for the rest of the day. You know, carbohydrates, um, they're, they're glucose essentially. They're made into your blood sugar. So you don't need like any more sugar, like that, like right, you don't need it. It's, a, it's an immediate source of energy. It doesn't bring as much as fat will bring you, but it's an immediate source of energy. So when you get that high intensity or moderate intensity workouts, that's when your carbs are gonna kick in. And then throughout the day, your fats work for you. So after you're done with your workout, unless you work out at like probably five in the morning, slow down on the carbs. You don't, you don't need that much anymore. You just don't, unless, you know, sweet tooth. during a workout though, so uh, I actually thought of one more, and this is probably the most important one. If you're not competing anytime soon, it's okay to like, you know, have a cheat day, or uh, well, cheat meal, you know, every now and then, or cheat day, 
after me. Like, it's okay to go over. It's not like the end of the world. Just work it off. Work harder. It's fine. You know, you deserve it if you're, unless you're having a cheat day every two days. I'm talking like after a week or two, maybe a month. Go ahead. Go crazy. Gain that extra 10 pounds. <laughs> Gain that all that fat back. Go ahead. Just the cycle of never-ending fat gains and fat loss. I'm just kidding. Don't don't really kill it. But I mean, like you know, every once in a while it's okay to donuts. So there were a couple tips for you. I'm sure there's like there's plenty of more. And if you, anyone else can think something, they can comment or keep to themselves whatever they want. But those are the ones that I felt as though have helped me the most. And. They, helping me helps you help me. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Uh, I will be posting more soon. I hope that you know you get your macros set and stuff like that. I could do a bulking one. Um, I mean, I won't myself be participating in it, but I can do one because I've done it before. It'll be a lean bulk. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one. Yeah.